Uh, imagine a life where you consistently meet your personal and professional goals, where your actions align with your values, and where you enjoy a deep sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it's not, and it's all about effectiveness. Effectiveness is the key to unlocking a life of achievement and contentment. It's about harnessing your inner potential, directing your actions purposefully, and making choices that resonate with your core values. And it all starts with self-awareness. By understanding who you are, what drives you, and what truly matters to you, you're better equipped to navigate the complexities of life. But it's not just about introspection. It's about being proactive, taking charge of your life rather than simply reacting to events. It's about aligning your daily actions with your long-term vision and goals. And it's about living a life that's not just successful, but also meaningful and fulfilling. Today we'll explore seven habits that can help you become more effective in your personal and professional life. The first habit is be proactive. This is the cornerstone of all the habits we'll explore, the foundation upon which all the others are built. Being proactive means taking control of your actions and behavior, rather than simply reacting to external stimuli. It's about focusing on what you can control and taking responsibility for your choices. Imagine a chess player. They don't just react to their opponent's moves, they strategize, plan, and make proactive decisions. That's the essence of this habit. In life, you too are a chess player and the game is your personal and professional journey. Being proactive is about understanding that you have the power to shape your life. It's about not letting circumstances, other people or limitations define your actions and decisions. It's about taking the reins, making conscious choices, and driving your life in the direction you want it to go. Remember, you are the driver of your life. Don't let external factors dictate your actions. The second habit is begin with the end in mind. This principle is about setting a clear destination before embarking on your journey. It's all about having a clear vision of your long-term goals and values. This vision serves as a compass, guiding your actions and decisions towards your desired outcome. Now, how do we define a personal mission? Start by identifying what truly matters to you. This could be anything from career success, personal growth, to building strong relationships. Once you've identified your core values, craft a personal mission statement that encapsulates these ideals. The next step is to align your daily actions with your mission. This means making conscious choices that propel you towards your end goals. Each decision, each action, no matter how small, should be a step forward on your journey. And remember, the beauty of this habit lies in its simplicity. With a clear vision, every step you take brings you closer to your ultimate goals. The third habit is put first things first. It's all about mastering the art of prioritization. In a world that is constantly vying for our attention, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of tasks, activities, and distractions. But remember, just because something is urgent doesn't necessarily mean it's important. This habit encourages us to concentrate on high-impact, long-term goals. These are the tasks that align with our values, contribute to our mission, and pave the way for our future. They might not scream for attention like the urgent tasks, but they hold the potential to bring about real meaningful change in our lives. On the other hand, trivial matters or tasks that seem urgent but don't contribute to our long-term goals can be incredibly draining. They take away our time and energy, leaving us with little to invest in what truly matters. So how do we put first things first? By being mindful of where we invest our time and energy. By continuously aligning our daily actions with our long-term vision. By choosing the important over the urgent. Remember, not every task deserves your time and energy. Focus on what truly matters. The fourth habit is think win-win. The fifth is seek first to understand, then to be understood. And the sixth is synergize. Let's delve into these further. Consider the world as a giant pie. Some of us think if someone gets a larger slice, automatically others get less. This scarcity mindset can lead to competitive or even aggressive behaviors, but what if we can bake a larger pie so everyone gets more? This is the essence of the think-win-win habit. It's not about being nice or avoiding conflict. It's about seeing life as a cooperative arena, not a competitive one. It's about creating situations where both parties feel good about the decision and are committed to the action plan. 
Next up, seek first to understand then to be understood. How often do we listen with the intent to reply rather than the intent to understand? We tend to filter everything through our personal lenses. However, truly effective communication starts with understanding. This habit compels us to listen empathetically, to understand others deeply, both emotionally and intellectually. It's not about agreeing with others, but about understanding them. Once we understand others, we can then seek to be understood, to express our viewpoint clearly and persuasively. Finally, let's talk about synergize. It's about realizing that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. It's about leveraging the strengths of others to achieve goals that no one could accomplish alone. It's the essence of teamwork and creative cooperation. It's about open-mindedness, valuing differences, and the belief that there's a third alternative that's better than what each person proposed. In essence, these three habits are about enhancing our interpersonal relationships and collaboration. They're about creating an environment of trust and cooperation, where everyone feels valued and heard. They're about recognizing that we're all in this together and that we can achieve much more when we work together than when we work alone. In interactions with others, strive for mutual benefit, understanding, and collaboration. The final habit is sharpen the saw. This habit emphasizes the necessity of continual growth and self-improvement. It's about investing in the most valuable asset you have, yourself. Imagine your body, mind, heart, and spirit as the four corners of a square, each one vital for balance. Physically, we need to nourish our bodies with proper nutrition, exercise, and rest. Mentally, we must keep our minds active and engaged, always learning, always growing. Emotionally, we strive for meaningful relationships, empathy, and understanding. Spiritually, we seek purpose and direction. Sharpening the saw is about embracing the concept of regular renewal and rejuvenation. It's about taking time out of our busy lives to reflect, to rest, to renew ourselves. It's about preserving and enhancing the greatest asset you have, you. Remember, to maintain your effectiveness, you must also take care of yourself. Let's recap the seven habits of highly effective people. First, be proactive. Remember, you're in charge of your actions and behavior. Don't let external factors dictate your responses. Second, begin with the end in mind. Have a clear vision of your long-term goals and align your daily actions accordingly. Third, put first things first. Prioritize tasks based on their importance, not their urgency. Fourth, think win-win. Aim for solutions beneficial for all parties involved. Fifth, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Listen with empathy and understand the perspectives of others before expressing your own. Sixth, synergize. Embrace the power of teamwork and appreciate diverse perspectives. And finally, the seventh habit, sharpen the saw. Don't forget to care for your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. With these seven habits, you are now equipped to lead a more proactive, goal-oriented, and fulfilling life. It's time to put them into practice and see the difference they can make.